Binance Futures Board Grid Tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can use board grid to do futures trading on Binance. Uh, we have a lot of different features and tools that we can avail and I will show you everything you need to know in order to do Binance Futures Board Grid Trading. So let's get started. Before we begin, I just want to clarify that I am not a financial advisor and this video is for general information and educational purposes only. Futures trading is highly risky and is not recommended for inexperienced traders. Never risk money you can afford to lose. That being said, let's get into the video. The link for Binance is given in the description down below. Click on the link and you will be able to sign up for Binance really easily. When it comes to signing up process on Binance, of course, you will need an account in order to get started and in order to get your own board and get to the trading. So once you click on the link given in the description down below, you will get right here and go to the register option. Uh, once you go to register, you will be able to sign up very quickly. It literally takes one minute or two. You will have, you can sign up with your phone or email. You can continue with Apple or Google. I will click on sign up with phone and email, select the country of residence, and then we can click on create personal account. Once you click on create personal account, then you will be able to sign up with your email address and you will have to verify your email, then enter your phone number, verify your phone number and click on next. So this step is really important to sign up. Once you sign up after the initial sign up or your login, you will get right here. This is our dashboard on Binance. And in here, we can go ahead and get access to the bot. So you will not be able to find the trading option right here on Binance, like simple Binance dashboard. We will have to go to the Binance futures and then go to the trading board. So I will simply go to derivatives right here and in derivatives we have futures. We have USD and futures and coin and futures. So click on any of these it's okay because we just want to go to the grid. Uh, we want to access the port and it's available in the futures. You can select the CoinM or USDM. It will take you right here. The end board is going to be the same. So we have Binance futures here. So in here you will actually have to open your futures account if you do not have it and opening a futures account is also really easy once you get here i have already created it so i'm not getting the option but you can simply click on open account and it, it opens up your futures account because you have already created an official account on binance so once you're here then you will find the strategy trading option and in here we have sport grid and then we have futures grid I'm going to click on futures grid and it will take me to my futures grid trading. It will open up a new window for me now. And in here, I will be able to do futures grid trading. So this is our futures grid trading right here. Now, let me show you how we do it. You can see this is our board right here. The auto, it says auto and auto means that we can automatically do the trading. It's a board available. And now, so what we do is we select a perpetual from here. You can select any of these. It will show you the graph for your futures trading. And from here, I will be getting my values, my top value and my low value from here. This is where we work. So the first step is selecting uh, the strategy, selecting the direction. So we have three type of directions we can go for. We have neutral, ideal for trading. Very good. Then we have long and short so it depends on you that what kind of direction you want to go for for now let's go with neutral the next step is going to be the initial margin so we have the initial margin right here this is the lower price and this is the upper price this is my auto board right here so this is how the board works and it is going to be automatic you can see there is a lower price and upper price. How to set the lower and upper price? Because maybe I do not want this lower price or upper price. So how to set it? You will go to manual, right? And in manual, again, select neutral. From here, I'm going to go ahead and select my own. If you prefer your own lower and upper prices for grid trading, then you can go ahead and select the lower and upper price. How to select a lower and upper price? So what we do is I'm going to click on trading view really quickly and it will give me a lot of different tools to play around with all right 
So from here, I'm going to go ahead and select the marker. So let's say that the high value is this, the upper value. I want the upper value to be this, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line right here. So this is my upper value. Now let's go with a lower value as well. This is my upper value. And let's go with for lower value. I'm going to select this one because this is lower, pretty low. So what I'm going to do now is so this is my upper value and this is my lower value. And now, of course, this is going to be my middle value. And I'm going to actually go ahead and draw another line. So we have our upper value and lower value. Now, what I can do is I can select the value right here as my upper value and then the value right here as my lower value. And I can select and I can automate my work that if this is the value, this is the lower value, this is where I want to buy my perpetuals and then i will select that i want to sell when it's this value so you can select any two values that when you want to sell and when you want to buy so it's, it becomes really easy for you to select it and that's how the grid works you can see right here the grid is that we can select from 2 to 149 we, we can also select a middle that this is going to be the middle and this if it's higher than this then this is when i will be selling my coins or my usd and this is when i will be buying so that's how we automate our work and you can see right here in, in our boat it's already selected we have a lower price upper price grid number profit and grid is going to be 0 0.18 percent to 1.12 percent this is for neutral if you want to go with long you can select the direction of course and then we can also select cross or 20x it depends on you um, add your initial market margin whatever it is so what i'm going to do is we can maybe go with 60 right so it depends on your balance as well you will click on that and then you will be able to automate your futures grid uh, with the board that is available on binance and it helps you keep track of all of your trading and it will help you save time you will not have to log in and make a strategy every week or every month board will work on it this strategy you have given to it that this is what i want it will again work on it and, and the board trading actually helps us to automate our trading and it has helped us a lot in our futures grid trading so once you have set up your board then you can also select the percentage of course and if i scroll down then we have the total investment click on create once you have added all the details all you have to do is click on create and a new board a new strategy will be created for you right here on binance and you will be able to do futures grid trading on binance very easily the link for binance is given in the description down below once you click on the link you will be able to get your own board also keep in mind that this video was not a financial advice and i'm not a financial advisor trading in crypto and in futures involves a high degree of risk and so make sure that you truly understand the trading once you um you understand then you can just simply go ahead and sign up with the link given in the description down below and start futures grid trading this brings us to the end of the video i hope that i was a big help to you don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel